All right, we got Bears and Packers this week. What are the keys to victory? Woo! That's keys to victory. This is going to be tough. Um, Keys to a Bears victory versus the Packers. Do everything you can to keep Aaron Rodgers on the sideline. And I'll say this. Do I think that the Bears are going to win? That is a tough pick. But I did pick it before the season that the Bears are going to win, and so I'm going to stick with it, which will put us at 4-2, and two, by the way. Crazy. This is a huge game for the Bears because you got the GOAT next week down in Tampa. Here's my thing. Don't send more than four people to try and get Aaron Rodgers because if you do, Devontae Adams is going to have a field day. I understand that you can't just let Aaron Rodgers sit back there all day. He'll pick you apart, blah, blah, blah. The plan for the Bears needs to be the exact plan they went in on the, with the Vegas. The, the Vegas. The Vegas? Can you Fakers? say that on TV? The Fakers. The LA Vegas Fakers. Raiders. The, the, what they went in on the Raiders with. Because if you are running the ball, killing the clock. You, now, I, do I think you can score 20 and be good? No. You're going to be in trouble in that situation. But if you're running the ball, if you're killing the clock, if you're keeping the quarterback on the sideline and you're keeping your defense rested, you are going to have an easier time trying to beat this Packer team when it comes down to the end of it. You have to turn this into a ground and pound, grimy kind of game if you're going to beat this team. Because if you try to blitz Aaron Rodgers, he's going to step through. He's going to pick you apart because you're not going to have enough people back in coverage. Um, if you try to – if you allow him to sit back there all day, this is going to be – listen, this is Khalil Mack and Robert Quinn's game. Y'all got to get there. You got to get home, and you got to get home with four people. Figure it out. <laughs> I think that um, it's going to be like the Rams game. They're going to – Think it's going to get ugly like that? I think – yeah, because they do that all the time. It's going to be like a bend, don't break. They have to, the the thing is, you can't do what you did against the Raiders with them, right? So you have to. They might this this actually could be the trick bag game where they might show you something with Justin Fields, yeah. and they've been waiting. Like they doing the rushing, the running game, which is good. Yeah. And but I I feel like it's one of those like you know until the defense gets tired. Yeah. That's what we're gonna have. Like the fourteen points is not going to beat. This game. This no, team. you you you're gonna have to score twenty eight. Twenty eight at a minimum to win this game for sure. Uh what's the what's what's Packers stat because Packers are ranked what defensively right now? Uh let's look that up. Stat team. Shout out to the stat team <laughs> over there. You know, it's the same same as a production team, but shout out to them. Um no, because to me, like if you if you can come out and you can like I, I don't think I do agree with you, you have to score twenty eight points. But I think that the problem that the Bears have is that they go three and out too often. And that allows Aaron Rodgers to be on the field. It gives them more opportunities to kill you. Which gets the defense tired. Which gets the defense tired. But you have to – like, like it has to be that simpatico uh, uh, um, relationship that we saw la last week. Has to be, yes, there's plenty of time for the defense to rest, but also when the defense is getting on the field, they are dominating when they're on the field. When they're getting on the field, they're out here attacking quickly. They're getting to Derek Carr. They're getting to, and this week it will be Aaron Rodgers. You know what I'm saying? Like That's what's going to be the, the thing that the Bears have to look at, especially like a go-to, because if you don't get to Aaron Rodgers and he's allowed to stand back there, I, I'll, be, I, I'll say this. It's going to be three people who have to show up. None of them are on offense. I need to see Khalil Mack. I need to see Roquan Smith. And I think Robert Quinn is is indicative of that. Like, if Khalil and Roquan are doing good, Robert Quinn's going get, to get some hits. And I need to see Jalen Johnson. This is the first time we're going to see Jalen Johnson going up against not just the number one wide receiver, but – Arguably, Arguably the best the wide receiver in the NFL. Now, I still put D-Hop above him, but, you know, some people have that debate. Um, So, the Green Bay Packers are ranked, are, t are actually tied 20th um, with, with, the, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers um, in, in defensive rating this season. And the Bears are number nine. Bears are ninth, are ninth ranked. Yeah, the Bears, Bears yeah. leading the we, league in sacks. Yeah, right? they're, I mean, they're, they're, they're leading the league in sacks. Bears they, killing it right now. I mean, I, they they could basically 
come in there and and, uh, and I mean, if we're looking at it here, um, Packers twelfth in the rush, twelfth in passing yards allowed. Oh no, I'm sorry. Hold up, I'm tweaking. That's Bears. My bad. Packers eleventh in the rush, tenth uh, in passing yards allowed. So it's gonna be it's gonna be tough for for the team to uh, 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 it's it's gonna be like the Packers defense isn't like. Oh my God! You should be able to gash them. Like we knew going into that game last week that the Bears, if they didn't run the ball, it was going to be a cardinal sin. But the Raiders were 18th. And a- absolutely. Yeah. So I mean, they. This is a winnable game. This isn't like um, days of yesteryear. They they, they can beat this. These and guys. I think. So, and I think that the things that the Packers do are struggling with. The Bears do well defensively. Now the question is going to be. Listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. If Justin puts up another 111 yard game, we lose. This, it's, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, uh, I, I was going to say I I don't think I'm with Joel on the sense of I I don't think it's going to be another. 111 yard game all for the simple fact you have to uh like like on, on the injury report on the injury report they have two of their starting dbs out their number one db is stokes yep. who by the way we saw jamar chase cook that man <laughs> um for like 159 yards last week in two tutties yeah um so so it, it it's doable. Like that they're starting linebackers out. I know they're getting uh Jalen Smith back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If not for if not for is this he playing game. this week? Um no, is he no, gonna be able to no, clear it? Because I know with the COVID protocols you can't just get traded and show up in there. Um no, nah, I think he's on the same thing with uh with um Stefan Gilmore. He can't actually show up to week till week seven. Okay. So, so um So I and and that's that's a big thing too, like like you said, l- missing a lot of pieces on defense. You've got to be able to go out there. You've got to be able to get after them. And this is this is a game that the offense one hundred and ten percent has to show up. If your offense doesn't show up this week, you're you're going to lose because like you have to ask yourself now. This is the week to find out too because last week, um, um, Vegas is actually pretty good against the pass. You've actually played teams that have been decent against the pass, right? The Packers, like you said, missing a lot of pieces. Do we have a Jamar Chase on this team? Do we have a number one wide receiver that's going to torch the other team? Not just going to have a good day. That's going to torch the other team. That's going to come out and have 15 catches. That's going to come out and have two touchdowns. Do we have that guy? Is that guy Allen Robinson? With, and I'm not saying that Allen Robinson can't be that guy. I'm saying, is he that guy for Justin Fields? Is Darnell Mooney that guy? Is Cole Komet going to be that guy? Is Who's that guy? You have to figure that out this week because this is the first week, like you said, that you're going to be able to move the ball through the air almost willingly. I mean, I guess versus Detroit, too, a little bit, but kind of, man, no, Detroit, well, you know, we, you don't stomp them. Yeah, we didn't see a lot of that against the Raiders, but I think they're going to take more chances with Green Bay, and they might actually give us – what I've been wanting is just some play action. You know, like I'm seeing some things. This is incrementally better. We know we have a rookie quarterback, and yeah. I understand he's still growing. He's still not there, so that's. But he's he's not killing us. But we might they might do some things that really surprise the Packers. How much is going to be too much for Bill Lazor? What What do you mean? In how much? Sense? How much? Because he's saying he wants to see more. He want, we listen. We know we have to have an offensive production day. How much is going to be? Like his ceiling, he's gonna he's gonna throw the deep ball. He's gonna throw. He's gonna attack the Packers downfield. He's gonna do get Justin out and get Justin moving. He's Justin's gonna have a a twenty five yard like like what's gonna be the thing that he's like? No, nah, I'm not doing that. Maybe a design run, like dude, just or you know. Well, we saw the design let, runs. Let me, they let just me don't rephrase work. that. It's not that. It's my thing is just being able to take a third and seven and make it a fifteen yard run. Yeah. And then now next to you know you're in the red zone and now you got you know, easy touchdowns because you have that ability to sp- to stretch the field. I just want to see something like that versus like, you know, because Justin, he looks what like. What did he have, 17 passes last week? I don't even remember. I think he had 17, 11 for 17, I want to say. Are we, are we talking, is this the week that we see, I think it's the week that you have to see Justin come out and have a 25 to 30 pass game. Right. I don't, I don't, th- I don't think it has to be 30 passes though. I, I don't. It can be uh, 25. It can no, be on the I, low. I, end, I, but I, Steve, I, Stephon, I, I think he's right. Like, the, the point is that that he they're trying to eliminate those turnovers. Yeah. They, they can't keep him out there because he will turn the ball over. He's a rookie. So, if we keep this controlled. But the thing is, is, like, how do you scheme this? 
where you have to be a little bit more aggressive. Because like we said, even though they're the 20th, this is still the Packers and it's a mental game. This yeah, is yeah, yeah. this is getting over that that man, that bad man over yeah, there. And then at the at the end of the day, you gotta you gotta remember too, like he can't like like the like the last two weeks versus Detroit and the Raiders. Yeah, I'm not taking a 14-9 game knowing that Aaron Rodgers is sitting on the other side and there's two minutes left and I yeah, think yeah, I yeah. and I think I got this. I don't back. think we see do much that. of Mason Crosby this week. <laughs> no, 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 oh no. Oh yeah. no. Yeah. I don't um, think we see much Mason Crosby um, this week. I'm not gonna lie to the, you. Uh, like the 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 check downs are, I think the check downs will be there. I think the over the top stuff will be there because I, I think Stokes is good, but I don't think he's totally figured figured it out. So I think Mooney will be able to able to beat him yeah. on some deep balls. I think we will see a lot more J- Jasper um, Horsehead, but um, I th- I think or, that or I dare th- we say a Cole Komet. Well, I'll say this: it's Maybe. it's about it's um, not about the it's not about the draft picks. It's not about where they are. It's not about who they were supposed to be. Right? It's about who Justin likes. Because now every pick before this is irrelevant. Right. Every, every offensive player before this is irrelevant. We're just excited because he likes Darnell Mooney. <laughs> like that's his boy. Right? You know what I'm saying? But, like, if he doesn't go to Cole Komet, guess what? Cole Komet's not a part of this offense. Mm-hmm. You find the guy that is. If that guy's Jesper Horstead, guess what? Jesper, Jesper Horstead's a part of this offense. Figure out how to get him paid. Or Jesse James, if he, if he comes back and he's a part of You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it now it's about – because you, you have now – before this, before all of this, you were doing the Andy Dalton experiment. The Andy Dalton experiment seems like it would have worked. The Andy Dalton experiment might get you to a certain point. But you were doing the Andy Dalton experiment. Andy was going to play with whoever was out there. He's going to throw to whoever has the the uh, uh, the X above their head when the route is open. You know what I'm saying? But with the with Justin Fields now, now you're figuring out, hey, who are the guys that Justin likes? Who are the guys that Justin wants to go to? Who are the guys that Justin wants to uh, see out there on a consistent basis? Because, listen, you, th- there's a reason that uh, Travis Kelsey and Tyreek Hill are out there with Pat Mahomes. He likes them. There's a reason that Sammy Watkins was re-signed by the Chiefs. He likes them. There's a reason that Hollywood Brown uh, uh, caught that game when he uh, killed me in the <laughs> Caught that game-winning touchdown to end the game because Lamar Jackson knows at the end of the day I want to go to Hollywood. Well, yeah, he's look. This is this is his team is growing, and this is the year of like you said, you're, you're figuring everything out. Yeah, he's growing. I think he's growing every every game he gets is more experience. It could like I <laughs> where's Marcus Boone at? <laughs> I had to shout out to him where he teasing me because I've been starting Justin Fields and he's been killing me in fantasy. Yeah, yeah I got a yeah. tie, but he might. There could be something that we see that we're all been waiting for. Yeah, 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 and maybe this is how they trick the the the, the Packers because this game counts. And and they're actually everybody's saying with the Packers, even the Bucks, they, these are actually winnable games because those defenses have, really haven't been that great. So I think they're both very winnable. I think the thing with the Bucks is the Bucks are gonna run the score up on you, right? Uh, but hey, if you Tom get to Tom, Tom like Brady, <laughs> Tom looking like Tom not even looking like Tom no more. I don't know who Tom looking like. But the Sixteen Bears, tutties and two interceptions. I, I don't know who Tom looking like. Tom not even looking like Tom right now. Tom looking like Patty. He said, "Let me do this Patty Mahomes impersonation for this season. Let me put up fifty on these mugs a game." Hey, he said, "What? Ain't they had like three fifty point games already, or something like that, or close to?" Nah, it, it's been close. Like to, it's but ridiculous. He's like they five tutties in like three games. But again, it's about it's not about who you play. It's about when you play them. It's and not we about beat who them you, before. And we, we, we beat, beat them before. Tom Brady. And how did, you, how did you beat them? You got to time. Now, getting to Aaron don't really do much. I'm not going to lie. He lost the like, down. Like, though. you get to Aaron, like, Aaron's still going to be Aaron. Yeah, well, he's, as long as <laughs> he's he a got, freaking nature. As long as he got extra down. Yeah, yeah listen. You, you gotta, just can't get him on the field at all. He got to run. They're going to run the clock out on him. But it's just that when they run, 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 can you, are you not afraid to make that one pass to just get I, us over that? Well, and I think I think this has got to be the week where they come up with the perfect balance of it, right? So we've seen them run, 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 but then it's a third and seven, and they call a play that's a five-yard pass, and they hope that their receiver can get 20. This is the week that you have to say, hey, if this is third and seven, by the way, offensive line, how about we not move before the play? That'd be great. Um, <laughs> this is the week that you got to say, run, run, 
hey, let's get this pass of 15 yards right here. Let's get this. Let's attack these mugs here. Let's have that Lamar Jackson set there where Justin drops back, surveys the field, looks down, sees if anything's open, and then possibly takes off. That's that's mm -hmm. where that's kind of what you have to do this week because it's like you said, we have to score four touchdowns. I don't care how we score them. I don't care if it's three offensive touchdowns and one defensive. I don't care if it's two offensive touchdowns and two defensive. We have to score four touchdowns. Green Bay Green Bay is at home, right? No, Bears are at home. Oh, it's okay, in Soldier okay. Field. Right, every other week. Bird out. Oh, yep. Yeah. Well, the Bears. The Bears. Hey, man, we want to know how you guys feel, man. Let us know in the comments below. A um, lot of great content coming y'all way. Shout out to the production crew. Shout out to the squad. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> man, we're doing great things over here, man. We appreciate y'all for tuning in and rocking with us, man. As always, man, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the page, check the links in the descriptions below, not only to sign up with FanDuel, but also to check out some of this merch, some of that Breeze merch. Now, don't look at it. Now, I mean, look at it on me, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm getting it together. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, cop some of this Bulls merch for the upcoming <laughs> Bulls season. We got Bears merch for the Bears season. I see y'all trying to laugh, uh, trying not to laugh because I'm fat. That's okay. I can't know. laugh neither. Nah. Hey, look. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, Ringo, shut up. Ringo out here. Muzz don't know. Ringo is out here in phenomenal shape. He's killing the game. We appreciate y'all for tuning in and rocking with us. As always, man, it's your boy, Pat the Designer. Back at it again. Hey, yo, Petty, where you at? Y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. Peace.